YouTube, what's up, man? It's draft champion season. It's pretty much all we're going to be playing for the next couple months here, preparing for the Madden Challenge. There's two more months until the actual club series playoff, so salary cap's going to kind of die down a little bit for now. So definitely, if you want to compete, man, make sure you guys are playing draft champions. I know EA doesn't do the best job announcing these things, but all you guys that want to try to compete, all you have to do is be top 128 on either PlayStation or Xbox. So, man, make sure you guys are playing Draft Champions. That's why most of our players have really transitioned to start grinding the Draft Champions leaderboards. It's always great to be able to play, you know, other top competitors, and that's what I love about it. And I've been starting off pretty good here. Don't ask me about the jerseys if you guys watch any of my games live, which you can if you check out the link below for my Twitch. You know, I hate these jerseys. I hate kids that wear these jerseys. But for some reason, I have them stuck. I think I actually have them equipped to my Mutt team in, a, in order to get the chemistries. And for some reason, on Draft Champions, they had me wearing them. But, I, you know, I honestly, I was undefeated in these jerseys. I haven't lost in these jerseys. And this was my toughest test of the day. See a little trips tight end, kid. This kid was pretty good. He's putting a nice spin move on with Tevin Coleman. Flashback Tevin Coleman, one of the best cards you can get right now in Draft Champions because he has that 92 speed. And the spin move that's really fast, especially with linebackers being a around 80 speed. I remember on this team I actually had, as he throws a nice dot over there, the corner route. But I actually have uh, Tevin, uh, what Telvin, Telvin Smith, which is actually a pretty good, uh, pretty good linebacker in this mode. And I have Dante Hightower with like 79 speed or whatever. And his first drive, he runs down. He he kind of killed me on that flat route to Coleman because Telvin Smith didn't get out fast enough. He was in a hard flat. That's one thing that I hate giving up against Trips tight end is that running back table route. So I give up seven points right away. Just basic Trips tight end. I feel okay on defense. I'll be able to slow him down. And I also had a Tevin Coleman. And what's great about this season's draft champion is I actually had the New Orleans Saints playbook, which is my main playbook, my main offense. And I had the two running backs with James White in the backfield. Tevin Coleman, I actually put him at tight end you can check out how to do this how to run this offense everything you see here from my offense is at madden turf that link is below in the description so check that out if you're interested in any of the ebooks any of the offense or the defense that i run in this game as you see me hitting odell beckham right at the seam cut back in the middle get an extra 20 yards just the speed of beckham right there i had beckham uh deandre hopkins and robbie anderson now robbie anderson is not great but he definitely has the speed and you'll see that speed uh, really come into play, especially on fades and any slant, something like that. And we're able to hit Ed Dixon over there for the touchdown. Ed Dixon is not a drafted tight end. He's just a base tight end. As you see, I'm running two two running backs. A running back is playing tight end for me, so I didn't draft any tight ends. But Ed Dixon is the base card. Here we go. We get a nice pressure right there. I believe that's Snacks Harrison. Snacks Harrison on the D-line. Big, strong horse able to go ahead and uh, Clock up the middle. There we see. Should have been a pick. The guy just swatted. I started manning up the tight end. The tight end was giving me a lot of trouble. He throws at me again, but we get an incompletion. Kid punts the ball here. Beautiful punt. Go from the 25 all the way to my 27. That's a great punt. But we're able to have some time here. Able to hit DeAndre Hopkins on the cross around. Can't man up. Can't really man up anybody this year. They just really kind of blow by a lot of the man coverage. So... That's what I tried to look for there was DeAndre Hopkins on a big play, overhitting James White down there in the flat. Got to take your flats if they're there, something I preach a lot. He's running dollar. He actually played really good defense, really mixed up his defense very well from when he was blitzing and when he was, uh, you know, playing covers. But he was still running the contains. The patch just came out, so things are a little bit different. That contains really aren't going to scream at the quarterback. They're really just going to stand there. Hard go with the patience, able to take this flat route over here to Tevin Coleman. The one thing this kid did very well, he tackled me. I mean, every time I'm doing a flat, one of my playmakers, whether it be Beckham, whether it be, you know, Tevin, Tevin Coleman, and he just really did a good job of tackling me, making sure I didn't get any yards. Here the time's running out on me here at the end of the second half. And here we look at the second, third instance. I make a mistake here. Try to fire my little quick pass. If you guys watch me play, I do it a lot. But he had Ed Reed was his best player. I believe he was even in a deep blue there. Dove and picked it off. Something that rarely happens to me. Huge mistake by me. To go ahead and throw that interception when I could have took my three points to go up one possession lead. But instead it's tied. I get the ball at half. Even after making that terrible mistake, I can go down and get seven points and just take the lead. I mean, we're definitely going to be in a good game. This kid has an idea what he's doing, so we're going to definitely be in for a battle. So wish I would have had those three points, but I don't. So I got to shake it off, go down here and try to get seven. That's pretty much the goal. 
And he was the first play. I'm just going to dump it off underneath. My man told me, here I go what I mean. He just did a good job of being patient and tackling me every time. I mean, I was disappointed in my own ability that I wasn't able to make anybody miss. But here he gets cute, tries to man up all his safeties. I mix up my play call, go a little four verts, hit the tight end, a little deep crossing route real quick, and just get loose with Tevin Coleman. I tell you, that 92 speed makes him probably one of the best cards you can have in this uh, this mutt draft or this draft champions right now. I mean, I wish they update the player pool. You know, I feel like we need some faster linebackers, and definitely every quarterback should be pretty decent. I mean, I see some people out here. I think this guy actually has Fitzpatrick. And there's definitely, I had one season, actually this season is the one I think I had Mitchell Trubisky, and of course I kick it deep, and you know, I get spun move, and we're off to the races, my man Trevor Way, the kicker cannot catch Telvin Coleman, Telvin Coleman, Telvin Smith, Tevin Smith, Tevin, I did, those guys, those two names I've been saying a lot this this game are really getting to me, Tevin Coleman with the kick return, sucks giving up kick returns, hate it with the passion, because no one has to work on defense or on offense, and I... You know, it's just an easy touchdown. But that's, you know, they took away the scum kick, and we've been trying to uh, experiment on how to kick the ball off. And that's that one I went right down the middle was not the move at all. Get sacked the first play there. We get sacked the second play there. He went from a, a four-man rush, ran a little crossfire there. Now he gets a three-man rush. I just tried to dump it off in the flats. And look at the completion. So after getting him the kick return, I get sacked twice. Throw an incompletion. Have to punt the ball. So now we got to play a little bit of defense. I actually punted inbounds, but make a decent play here with Prince of Mukamura. He's an 87 speed DB. Definitely one that can be picked on your team. I love this nickel defense because I have not get ran on yet. Every run, whether it's under center, whether it's inside zone, whatever it may be, I'm definitely not getting ran on. And that's the main goal in draft champions. I mean, I'm not going to tell you guys I have the best defense in the world, but I certainly have not gotten ran on yet. I've probably played 16, 17 games of draft champions. Get them to a fourth down here. We finally come around the edge with Javon Curse. Nobody was really open. That's why you pick it. If you would pick a legend pass rusher, get Javon Curse, man. He's fast enough, and that finesse move really gets him around the edge of these tackles in the game. Here, ball, I get I get lurked right here on a high ball, or on the, the post route. Kind of my slants all kind of brought his user to the middle. That was just bad. I threw that ball way too late. It gave him the ability to kind of cover everybody right there. But I love the way I'm playing defense, man. I'm not disappointed. Real close game right now. Obviously, it's tied, but I love how I'm playing defense, and I miss a tackle right there. I manned up high tower on this tight end, Jake Butt. I don't know if it's a team of the week card. I don't know who this guy, Jake Butt, is, but he's killing me. He's killed me this whole game. I've tried to man up multiple people on him, and he just I can't I can't find the answer for Jake Butt. And speaking of manning people up, I manned up Rashad Jones on Brandon Cooks right there. That did not end well. I think that's the 10-speed differential. And it really looked like it. So I give up another easy touchdown between the kick return, the streak over the top, and the table route on the first drive. Just really giving up some easy things. But I feel all right. Just got to go down here and get seven. Take was there. And once again, he does a good job of tackling me with, T with Tevin Coleman over there in the flat. But I'm able to hit this seam route in this cover two. Made him jump down and bite on something underneath. Hit the streak right over the top to Tevin Coleman. So now we're in the red zone. Dump it off again to Coleman. I'll go just to try to truck him there because I'm tired of him just strafing, standing there. But he tackles me again. I'm going to hit my curl over there on double flats, man. That, that curl route really dominates to the short side of the field. Run another draw. As I'm watching this game, my clock management down here was really bad. Both the end of the first half and the second half, I could have did a lot better as far as not having any time on the clock. Double it over here to uh, James White. We get to the one-yard line. He uses his timeout. He only has one left. I talked about this guy being on my base team, Ed Dixon. Again, boom, big-time catch right there. Has two touchdowns for me. Caught that over Alec Ogletree to tie the game up, man. I mean, like I said, you're going to have hella draft picks, but sometimes you got to lean on the bums on your defense to make some plays. And Ed Dixon really definitely made a big catch for me. His second of the game. So now we just got to play a little bit of defense here to get out of the half. He only has one timeout left, so the time is definitely ticking for him. As we see, we're under a minute here. Who is it? Jake Butt again. That time he was manned up on 22. I, I think there's William Jackson on my defense. He no huddles here. Like I said, the time is really against him. This isn't salary cap. I don't know who their kickers are. Just playing a little bit of basic cover three, I think. And then here he goes with low level sale. We're able to get, the, get to the quarterback. Try to strip him. We don't get the ball. So he's really running out of time. Now this game has got overtime running all over. Again, to a second and 15. Everybody's manned up. This is Dante Hightower just... Barely can stay up, but I click on with Jones. I don't know. Oh, Rashad Jones. 
almost gets the pick right there on T.Y. Hill. And again, to a third and 15. What's he going to do? Now, remember this play because he'll come back to that. The deep crossing route, deep in route. But I get a sack right there because Rivers was one-on-one -on -one with the tight end. Now, remember that play. That was his long yardage play. He tried to cook up. He punched the ball off to Tevin Coleman. I get out of bounds. Boom. One play before the half, we're just trying to use my fastest player, Tevin Coleman, at the tight end position. Put him on a fade, try to go over the top, but he uses it, sees it coming, boom, picks it off. Now we just got to tackle. At this point, I pretty much click on and run away, just try to <laughs> try to run back and play as safe as possible. But we tackle him. We go to overtime, want to win the coin toss, but of course, you know, we're, not, we're never going to win the coin toss because it's never easy. So we're going to have to get off the field. I feel like he's had 17 possessions and has two offensive touchdowns most of which I could have prevented myself. So I feel good on defense, man. We'll just keep it basic. Nothing, no big plays, no deep crossing route and, and trips tight end, no crossing route when he goes to the wide trips. Slow down and run. This was probably the best run he got all day on me. But Dante Howard's out over there to go ahead and uh, look, nine carries for 15 yards. Next play goes with a bunch of drags, and we're, we're pretty much covering up everything, and we get the sack. He holds on the ball, takes the sack right there by Rivers. Derek Rivers, three sacks in this game. Stefan Tua at the tackle blowing up that run. So we feel good. Get him to a third and 17. Throws the wheel route. Hit this strip button. Make sure you're using RB to go ahead and get that strip right there. Get him to a, a long yardage. Here I just play the sticks. I keep a Mukamura in the yellow zone just for that play that he ran before the end of the fourth quarter. And we get the interception pretty much to win the game. Sealed again. Can he take it back? No. Jake Butt. I mean, just unstoppable in pass coverage and making plays. But the next play we run it in there with Tevin Coleman in overtime to win the game. Huge play by my defense, able to remember the play that he ran at the end of the fourth quarter that didn't work, but he definitely went back to it in overtime. We were able to play the sticks, a feature that did not work in Madden 18, Madden 17. It's finally play the sticks works now, where if you press Y and I believe LB, that all your zones will back up to the, to the long yardage, man. So if it's fourth and 17, all your zones will be sitting at 17, and that was a huge way for me to end that game right there and be ready to click on with the interception. Like I said, if you want to watch any of these games live, Hit up my Twitch channel. The link is below. Please hit the like button. Please comment below. Appreciate you guys.